Hi, so this is the first live on the Norfolk Nappy Company website um, and this is for the Norwich Nappuccino. So I'm hoping you can all see me. I'm just going to move that a little bit. Okay, so we're doing this via a mobile, so that's going to be interesting. So hopefully you've all get a good view of the nappies themselves as we talk through them. Um, so really this was to do with um, Norwich Nappuccino, which is Norfolk's nappy library, um, but it does also cover how to use cloth nappies, how to care for them, <clears throat> a little bit about the different types, um, and also what's in a rental kit. So whether you hire from um, Norwich Nappuccino, who do do postal loans throughout the country, or you go to one of your absolutely fantastic local nappy libraries, this information should help. Now all the nappy libraries do run slightly differently, so they all have different things in their kits, um, they all have different prices and um, length of periods that you can hire for. Um, so do get in touch with your local nappy library to find out what they offer. But the information is going to be very similar, so the different types of nappies that you find are the same whether you're looking to buy a set of nappies or whether you're looking to rent. So I'm just going to talk you through, first of all, the different types of nappies that you might find, um, either in a kit or when you're looking around to buy nappies. Um, now, typically in a rental kit with um, Norwich Nappuccino, you get around 25 cloth nappies or cloth nappy changes, um, and they will vary across the four different types. So all in ones, all in twos, pockets, and two parties. Um, now you would also find in there a few hybrids and um, so there's quite a few hybrids coming onto the market now where they're half pocket, half popper um, or they're like an all-in-one but they come apart like an all-in-two. So I'll talk you through the different types as we, as we go through. So let's start with the easiest type which is your all-in-one. Um, so an all-in-one nappy. Um, just means that it's all in one piece. Okay, now there are a few confusing ones out there that call themselves all in one, but they do come apart. Um, but your typical birth to potty, all in one nappy looks a bit like this, and this is one of the little love bun ones. Um, so, with a lot of birth to potty, potty nappies, you will find that they have a little grid system like this at the front. So I don't know if you can see with the colours there, but there's basically nine poppers that go up and down at the front there. And that's to adjust the size or the length of the nappy. Um, so that will be the size around the legs. So when the baby's tiny, you're gonna want it done up to make it much, much smaller. I've just done one there, so you can see that makes that smaller for the legs. Okay, then, you've either got the option of poppers or Velcro to fasten around the tummy. Now when it's poppers, typically they have two rows so that it secures the waist and the hips. Um, and sometimes they do up with three poppers the other side. Okay, so that keeps it nice and secure and stops those extra bits moving around when there's more to do up. Okay, so you're gonna do those up for the waist and the hips and you'll do those up for the legs. Now once you've set the legs up, you probably won't adjust them until your baby grows significantly. Um, so they're ones that you would just leave done up in the wash and everything. It would just be the waist and the hips that you would change. So as I say, with an all-in-one, it's all in one piece. So there's nothing to take apart. There's nothing to attach to it. Everything you need is in that one piece, okay? So with this one, for example, you've got this soft layer here, which is like a stay dry layer. So it stays nice and soft against your baby's skin. Most nappies will have that where it's, um, it'll wick the moisture away and, and stay fairly dry feeling on the top. And then with the little love bun ones, they've got a nice layer of hemp inside. These ones are a nice thin nappy. You'll see the legs are elasticated as, are, as is the back piece. So that gives baby a bit of movement. Um, but it's nice and simple. Now, the downside of all-in-ones is they can take longer to dry, um, but with a lot of them, you can now turn them inside out like this and just hang them so that the air can flow through. And that will mean that they, they dry fairly quickly. 
Okay, so that's an all in one, all in one piece, nice and straightforward. Okay, you then come on to what we would call an all in two. Um, and as the name might give away, it's a nappy that's in two pieces rather than one piece. Okay, so exactly the same on the front, you've got um, a popper grid system there to do up the rise and then waist and hip snaps there. But it, as I say, it comes in two pieces. So the first piece is this outer layer, which is what we would call a wrap, okay? And that is just the waterproof piece. So that's gonna keep everything contained within the nappy. You then have the absorbent part, which is the second piece. Um, and this one is Petty Lily one, and it you can kind of unsnap various layers to make it thinner or more absorbent. Um, and that will just snap into your nappy. Like so, there's just a popper on the inside there that you just attach, um, and one at the front as well. So it's nice and secure and it will stay in place and you just pop it on baby as normal. Now, with ones like this, where the inside is this PUL material, so shiny material, you can, in between nappy changes, just remove the absorbent part Put a new absorbent part in and just wipe down this outer layer um, so then you don't have to have as many wraps you can just have lots of the inserts and just replace them a few times now a good system for this is to have two of these wraps on the go throughout the day um, so you take one off wipe it down hang it up and put your new wrap on and then the next nappy change you will use the one that you've hung up and wipe down the one that's just been worn and hang it up to dry. They dry very, very quickly, a quick wipe down and a couple of minutes in there, they're dry. Um, and you can just keep replacing these inner layers of absorbency. Okay, that is until baby does a poop and then you would need to change the whole nappy. Um, now this is a Petit Lulu one. Um, and these are one of the more premium nappies, but you'll see with these, they've got this fleecy edge to them. So that helps stop leaks, but it also means that baby doesn't get sock marks in quite the same way as they would with some other brands. Uh, so it could be much gentler on, on your baby's skin. So that's the all in two. Um, you then come on to what we would call a pocket nappy. So, a pocket nappy would be like this one. So this is a uh, the Petit Ours one, where the insert goes inside a hole in the back, rather than attaching to it. Um, so you would take your extra part and pop it in the hole at the back, um, flatten it out and then your nappy is ready to go. You will change the whole nappy every time with these. Um, but in essence, it's called a pocket nappy because it's got this, this pocket to put the insert inside. Okay. Now, these are quite popular um, version of nappies because all the inserts are inside, so they stay in place. And once you've set loads of them up, so if you've pre-done all the pockets after washing and you've got them in a little stack ready to use, it's like using an all-in-one. Um, but it comes apart so it's a little bit quicker to dry. Now this is technically a hybrid, so this one by Le Petit is called an all-in-one, but as you see it has actually got the pocket where you can put the insert in, so it's a bit more of a hybrid between an all-in-one and a pocket. Um, with these one you have actually got the option of poppering on that insert as well, um, so it kind of does all things this one. But pocket nappies generally just have a hole either in the front or the back and you push all the inserts inside and then you're ready to go. Now the great thing with these is they're very easy to boost. So if you need a little bit more absorbency, it's very easy to add extra inserts inside um, to, to give you that extra absorbency. They do up in exactly the same way, but when they're dirty, you would take the whole thing off, put a whole new nappy on and carry on like that. So they can be very popular for that reason. Okay. You then come on to some of the hybrids. So, a bit like the Le Petit Ours one we just looked at, 
um, this is a fluffy duck. So this is what we call a popper and pocket. So the inserts can either be fastened on with a snap um, and then put on baby, or they can go in the pockets. So you can just pop them inside there and use it like a pocket nappy. Um, the great thing with these is it, they come with these two boosters, so you can actually fold them up and have the absorbency where you need it, especially good for little boys or tummy sleepers. Okay. You then come on to um, another one that's popular in higher kits as hybrid is um, close pop-in. So they're marketed as an all-in-two because they come apart. However, you don't change just the insert on these. So they've got actually a, a material kind of wrap so that the, you can see the wrap's not shiny. You can't wipe that down. So when the inserts are wet, you have to change the whole nappy. Um, but as I say, these are really good because they come apart um, and the inserts just pop on. You can just hang it up to dry like that. So it's getting lots of air through it and it's all coming apart. It's also got these extra bits that you can kind of fold so you can have the absorbency where you need it. Um, and it's a Velcro nappy, which, you know, there's not many of in the market. Um, a lot of them tend to be poppers. Some people prefer that Velcro option, so it makes it more like a disposable to do that. Um, and it's also got these hidden tabs, because the key thing with these is to do up the Velcro before you put it in the washing machine. Otherwise that Velcro will just rip apart all your nappies. Um, so you've got hidden tabs there to do up your Velcro so it protects the nappies in the wash. And that's your clothes popping. Okay. Coming on to the last type of nappy then, and it wouldn't matter if you are using a birth to potty set or a newborn set, you're likely to find these nappies in there. Um, and that would be a two-parter. Um, so a two-parter consists of a, a, like two nappies. So an outer wrap layer, which is nice and thin, but it's got no kind of, normally no poppers or anything on it. It's literally just the outer plastic. Um, PUL wrap, the waterproof layer. And then on the inside, you might find yourself with a fitted nappy like this, or you might use something like a Terry or a Prefold, and I'll come on to those in just a second. So your fitted nappies are just nappies that are just absorbent. There's no waterproof layer to them. They're just really thick, full of bamboo or microfiber or, or hemp even. Um, they come with kind of extra boosters inside. This is a little lambs one, so it's lovely and soft. It's like a little cloud. Um, and you can use a fleece liner inside these as well, which will, again, do that kind of dry layer. So it will make sure your baby feels dry while wicking all the moisture away. Um, and they're lovely and soft as well. So you would put that one on and then put the wrap over the top, like putting two nappies on. The other things that you can use inside them, as I say, are um, terries or prefolds. Um, so a prefold is a piece of material like this and it's got stitching on it normally. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, but in essence, you kind of just fold it where the stitches are into this pad shape and lay it in the nappy to use. Or you can do some other sort of fancy folds where you have it more like a V shape, which is really good for kind of catching um, kind of more liquid poo, so newborn stage or and that kind of thing, it's better for catching more. Um, but they're really thick, but it's basically just a piece of material that you're folding up and putting inside the nappy like a pad. Okay, you can also use what we call a nipper or a snappy to hold that in place. So you could have it so it does the pre-fold up but these are really important when you've got flats so or terries. So they are literally like a towel, or it could be a piece of cotton or bamboo like this. And you're just gonna fold it into the shape that you want for the nappy. So, 
you know, you would just literally, depending on the size of your baby, and there's lots of different folds you can do, fold it up, pop your snappy on to keep it done up, and then pop your wrap over the top. Um, so it's, they're a little bit more complicated when you're learning to do the folds. Um, but once you know how to do the folds, which are very, very simple, um, then they are really, really good. So not only are they cost effective, because they're so cheap to buy, they wash really well. You can wash these at really high temperatures and you've got no worries about them shrinking. Um, and they dry really fast as well. You can chuck them in the tumble dryer or you can hang them on a line and they don't take very long to dry at all because uh, they're just in one sheet. They're very, very fast. Um, so it's just making sure that you're comfortable doing the folds and putting the extra wrap. Now the downside is um, they're a bit thicker as well. So a lot of people will use them for at home or overnight rather than when they're out and about. Um, similarly, the fitted nappies, so like the little little lamb ones are fantastic for overnight. Um, you'll find when babies are newborn um, and really tiny before they're moving, it's much easier to use things like the two parters um, and the flats because baby's still and you've got the time to get the nappy on and get it right um, rather than having to chase around a baby that's crawling away from you. Okay, if you are looking at starting from newborn, you'll find that um, a newborn kit is a great place to start. So the newborn kits contain the tiny nappies that you would need from birth until you're ready for the, what we call birth to potty nappies. But in fact, they tend to go from around 10 to 12 pounds. Um, now I would suggest if you're starting from below 10 to 12 pounds in weight, you would be better off going for newborn nappies or a newborn kit. Um, so many times parents right at the start can get put off when they're trying to use nappies that are too big for their baby. Um, using a nappy that's too big, whether it's disposable or reusable, is just going to cause leaks and, and make everything much, much harder with all the clothes changing and washing that you have to do. Um, newborn nappies are designed to be tiny. And again, these ones, for example, um, by Little Love Bum, even have sizing on them to make them super, super tiny for when baby's first born. Um, so you have the poppers at the front and the waist there. Um, and they have these lovely extra pieces on the inside as well. Um, but again, you know, two parters are a great thing to use in that newborn stage because you can get them much, much smaller um, or using a newborn nappy like these where you can make them super tiny so they actually fit your baby will mean that you you know, you have a lot less leaks and you'll find using cloth nappies a lot more successful and easy than trying to go straight to the birth to potty ones. Okay, so other things that you might need are um, either a wet bag, so a wet bag's like this, a waterproof bag to put all your dirty nappies in, or some people will use a bucket with a mesh liner. So you just fill the bucket up and then chuck the mesh liner full of nappies straight into the washing machine or you fill up one of these bags, which zip up nicely to contain all the smells in, and pop that straight into the washing machine for the nappies as well. Undo it before you put it in the washing machine. Um, these are really good for out and about as well. So they have a handy little handle there that unsnaps so you can attach it to the pram. Um, so you can fill it up with your dirty nappies while you're out and about. And liners. So there's two different types of liners that you can get with cloth nappies. Um, the first type is a disposable. Um, now you're best not to push these down the toilet and sometimes they come really big so you need to kind of cut them smaller. You can't fold them up because they stop the moisture going through them. But a liner is there to um, catch solids and to protect the nappy from any creams that you put on your baby's bottom. Um, so again, because you have to pop them in the bin, um, if they are um, covered in solids and things like that, with the disposable ones, you are going to be back to probably using plastic nappy bags to put them in to dispose of them. Um, you can also get reusables. Um, so I'm more of a fan of the reusable ones simply because they not only protect the nappy and catch solids, but they're also soft. Um, so it gives your baby that extra kind of soft layer against their skin. And it 
passes all the moisture straight through and stays feeling dry. So if your nappy doesn't have that dry layer, um, then this will do that for you. Um, not only that, but they're much easier to use when it comes to disposing of them because you don't have to put them in a bin. So you don't need plastic nappy bags. You can put any solids can be rinsed off into the toilet um, or knocked off into the toilet once your baby is weaning. Um, and then they can just go straight in the wet bag or the bucket, whatever you're storing your dirty nappies in and wash with your nappies. Um, it's a bit like using disposable wipes. They become a lot more difficult when you're using cloth nappies. Using cloth wipes then becomes very easy because you just put them in the bucket with, with your dirty nappies. Okay, so what else you need to know? Um, washing. So um, when it comes to washing, when you take your dirty nappy off your baby, you're going to do off any Velcro um, to make sure they don't rip your nappies apart and also pull out any inserts and pop them all into whatever container you're using for dirty nappies. Um, when you've got sufficient in there, um, or you're running out of nappies, um, it's time to take them over to the washing machine and pop them all, in, all straight in the wash. Now, if your baby is um, milk fed exclusively, then any poo can go straight in your washing machine. It's completely water soluble. You don't need to worry. If your baby is weaning, then you need to try and knock as much of the poo as possible straight into the toilet before you pop that nappy in your wet bag or your bucket. Um, when you pop your nappies in the washing machine, the first thing to do is turn them onto a cold rinse. Now, cold water is brilliant um, for any stains. So whether it's nappies or baby's weaning and you've got tomato stains all over the clothes, a cold pre-rinse is the best thing to do. Don't use the pre-wash function because that will mean that that water is reused in your main wash and you want fresh water. You want all the nasties washed away before you start your main wash. So you're going to pop them onto a rinse with cold water and then after that's finished you will put your main wash load on. You are going to need some powder, so um, washing powder, preferably non-bio um, for your nappies and you will use them the amount that it says for heavily stained nappies. So you will pop that in and then pop your nappies onto a long cotton wash. Um, if you have got extra kind of functions on your washing machine where you can kind of boost the level of water use, like um, for particularly dirty clothes, then, then that's great to use. But you want a good two and a half hour, three hour wash for those nappies. Um, don't use any eco settings because they reduce the amount of water used and you want a lot of water in there. If your washing machine isn't two thirds full with nappies, you can add in things like muslins or towels, like hand towels. Um, or baby clothes into the wash. Don't use any fabric conditioners or bleach on your nappies. It will invalidate all the warranties that we provide. Um, and then once your wash is finished, you're just gonna hang those nappies out to dry. If they still smell a lot of um, washing powder, then pop them back in for another rinse. Um, but that is basically everything you need to know about washing the nappies. Some can be tumble dried on a low heat, but try to avoid that because that's kind of removing some of the eco benefits of, of using cloth nappies. Um, and what else do you need to know? So if you want to hire a kit of nappies, they contain those 20 to 25 nappies so that you get a really good idea of which nappies work for you and your baby and which you prefer using. Um, is a great way of testing out whether you're gonna get on well with cloth nappies or not um, before you go and invest in a set. All you need to do with the Norfolk, with um, Norwich Nappuccino, sorry, is go onto the Norfolk Nappy Company website. Under where it says hire, um, right at the top, you've got sort of three symbols and one of them is hire. If you click on that, it will take you to the Norwich Nappuccino page. It will give you lots of details there about the different kits and how much it costs to hire a kit. Um, and you just fill all the details in the form there and that will ping over to me and I'll have a look and let you know and make sure we've got a kit available for when you want it um, and get that all booked in for you. You do have the option of adding on things like buckets, uh, wet bags to hire, cloth wipes to either hire or to buy. Um, so go and have a look and if that's something you're interested in, by all means, fill in the form and we'll get a hire kit out to you. Um, if you are looking more at buying a kit but you're really still not quite sure which ones work for you, we do have consultations as well. So um, if you go under book an appointment or advice, 
um, there's an option there you can book a consultation directly and I will talk you through which nappies would work best for you and your babies given your circumstances and what you need from them um, and we can also work to what budget suits you as well um, so go and have a look if you've got any question pop a message over to me there's a contact form at the bottom of the website um, I look forward to hearing from you thanks <laughs>